Hey, this is Superdose. Welcome back to a new episode of A Story Beside. Today we're gonna start the festival, or at least what's left of the festival. And uh, we have a pretty big fish. So hopefully the party will be a massive success. We finally have some fresh food and no longer leftovers. And uh, yeah, I just hope that everyone likes fish, including my cat Ember. Where is he? I haven't seen him all, 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 ugh, all chapter. They're hiding somewhere. Anywho, let's go. Hey, it's a little moon. What do you think, Cloud? Take your time to stiff around as much you want. Go, go walk after dinner. Something's gonna happen, is it? We need to push the tables together for dinner. Probably should, shouldn't wait much longer. Ready for dinner. Yeah, I think we did everything. We definitely went everywhere. So, yeah, I think we're ready. Now, please don't make me sad. How tasty! Fancier dinner than we've had in ages, this. Compliments to the talented cook. Oh, this is so nice. The doggies are sleeping. Wait, there's the cat. There's the cat, yes. Oh, um, thanks. I can't take all the credit, though. Graham and I got pretty lucky landing the massive mountain trout. Oh, yeah, everyone's got fish on their plate. So who was all here? Graham to my left. Kelsey. The twins. It's the people from the barn. Oh, Hazel's here. Claire. And I think Thomas there on the, on the, on, in between Claire and Barn with the red cloak, I think. Yeah, oh yeah, that confirms it. And the sauce. I can't quite place the, all these flavors. It's my Nana's old recipe, unsurprisingly. I managed to scrape together enough garlic and parsley for the seasoning. I'm glad it turned out. Uh, wait. When wasn't there like adventurers in the door to the right? Aren't they coming in? <laughs> More than turned out, I'd say. Best meal I've had in weeks, Lyric. <laughs> ah, agreed, but a little rude to say in front of your sister, don't you think? The sister who cooked up your your favorite curry stew two nights ago. Oh, oh that stew was delicious, Brianna. I put your leftovers on the stove today for lunch. Thank you so much for sharing it with them. Mm. Wait, for sharing them. I'll second that. Plenty of kick in that bowl you brought over. Was it the same stew you made for the Winterfest last year? Sorry, Bri, I simply can't stomach that stuff. Far too spicy for decent folk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, decent folk? So you're decent folk while the rest of us aren't? Stars, I wouldn't want to live in a world where that was true. Now, oh, Brianna, Kelsey does her best. Decently, decency simply does not come as natural to her <laughs> as it does to the rest of us. <laughs> uh, even you, Miss Molly? Lyric, please defend your best friend before these village... What if all these villains rank me any further through the mud? <laughs> Kelsey is a saint. Well, one time. <laughs> well, uh, will she like that? Oh, it's all good spirits, right? <laughs> uh, it's all against one. How dare you accuse sweet, innocent Kelsey so? She's been nothing but a saint in all these days I've known her. Ah, laying it all around a thick heart, you. I'm sensing it in the sarcasm. <laughs> Whatever are you talking about, dear Kelsey? You haven't put a foot out of line as far as I can remember. Aw. First day I came to Parasite, the day of... Well, you all know. I recall a pair of brazen mischief makers and a broken bottle of wine. <laughs> that was someone else, I presume. <laughs> ah, must have been. Sorry, Barn. Uh, I do recall that in the least. Well, I damn sure recall it. You were willing to let me take the blame before the litter stepped in. This isn't a fight you're going to win, Kelsey. Mm. Uh, that must have been terrifying. I imagine you were quite intimidating back then, Mr. Byron. No offense in intended, of course. <laughs> uh, unlike these days, Byron is such a cuddly and friendly fellow. It only took me a week to work up the courage to introduce myself. <laughs> uh, suppose I come off as a mite prickly. Uh, folks have said as much once or twice over the years. Come on then, show us how, how much you've changed, you old grump. How about sharing your very best joke? Hey, since when does he, is, is William have an eye patch? Joke. <laughs> That's what he said. You've heard of jokes, haven't you? Hmm, well, okay then. Why did... Uh, how did it start again? Why do watermelons always have large weddings? Uh, why? 
Because they can't... Oh, uh, wait. That's not quite right. They are... <laughs> they aren't watermelons. Muskmelons, that's what they are. Right, why do muskmelons have large weddings? This is gonna be good. <laughs> because they can't loop. I'm not too much into watermelons and dusk mel melon um, lore. And I'm not sure what a cantaloupe is, but it's probably some kind of joke, but I... <laughs> it goes over my head. Sorry. <laughs> uh, it's a pretty bad one, isn't it? No good. Uh, somehow worse than I could have imagined. I don't know. I kind of liked it. It reminds me of that old joke book Finn used to read from. Oh, his name was Finn, the, the brother of uh, Graham. Charming in a groan-worthy way. Cantaloupe! Ha, I just got it. They can't elope. Ah, cantaloupe. Ah, okay. Good one, Barn. Well, there you go. At least it made Isaac laugh. Not sure that's a great measure for the quality of a joke, but it's something. This scene is so wholesome. I like it very much. So, little lyric, here we go. There was something we wanted to speak to you about. Something on our minds, of everyone, or just you two. Mm -hmm. huh, why so serious all of a sudden, Mr. William? What do you mean? What? All of you? Oh yeah, this is gonna kill the mood. A uh, lyric. Hey, please pack up and leave town. You're driving us all out of business. You're the only one making money. Get out. No, no, no. This is about whether I'm going to fix my inn or the mill, isn't it? Well, sort of, yeah. Oh, there's a conspiracy. There is a conspiracy against me. Wait, why Why you too? You, do not, you, you don't even live here. It's something that's come up recently among all of us. This freezing rain does not, does not, doesn't seem likely to let up anytime soon. If this is how the skies look in midsummer, well, we all just think. Oh, just spit it out. Well, is she in it as well? Why do I not know about this? And what do I not know anything about? It... Okay. First guess is that they have all decided they want to leave town and go to the capital. Because all of them ain't making money. I'm the only one that comes by. That must be it, right? What else could it be? It could be in or windmill. You all think we should leave Pyreside? Aye. We all think we should leave Pyreside. I can sense the biggest decision of this game coming up. No, I... Uh, I uh. No, I won't. This place is my home. Lyric. No, adventures still come through these mountains. Not as often, but they do. You need the sleeping dragon to stay open. I told you all she wouldn't listen. He gets to have her own opinion on the matter. Not if it's a brainless opinion. Lyric, none of the rest of us have any customers for weeks. What do you want us to do? We're broke. She's right, little Lyric. This could peak up growing... Uh, this should be peak growing season. Have you barely been able to harvest rich barley? Let alone any real fiddles. This isn't an easy decision for all of us. I've lived in this village for half a century, but it's time to face the harsh truth. I won't stop you from leaving, but I can't go. Mom and Dad and Nana didn't take care of this place for so long for me to abandon it now. Is there anyone here who is not in on this? I'm with you, Lyric. But we should at least hear them out. You know about this? Did you really? Well, I suppose everyone knew that I was the only one that was gonna be difficult about it. 
I also don't get why Thomas is here. He doesn't live here. I can definitely sense it from Hazel's perspective. She wants to go out there anyway. Well, now that I think about it... Yeah, if everyone is still... Isn't coming by... I'm now going to get the option. Am I going to share... Mr. Donovan's wealth... With everyone. Or do I put it in the mill? Is that going to be it? Also... Mr. Miles and Mr. Donovan left. Already. All the other people are dead. This, this bloody rain... Oh, man. There are no signs here. This isn't about who's right and who's wrong. This is about everyone's well-being. Everyone's future. Hmm. My future is here. If yours isn't, then I guess that's that. There it is. See how little she cares about what the rest of us think? Kelsey, hush. Uh, if you want to sit around and bang your head against the wall, be my guest. But I know that stubborn look in her eye. I think everyone needs to calm down. Yes. That's a good idea. We can finish the lovely dinner Lyric has so kindly prepared for us all. And come back to the topic later. Sure. Sure, just ruin the entire atmosphere. It's not going to be the same meal anymore. No, we need to discuss this now. This is all ruined. I don't have much of a stomach for food anymore. Kelsey and William and the rest. That night I felt deceived by them all. Please don't Inspired end. Please don't against. end. Please. I can get it. The whole village had formed an, an alliance behind my back whispering amongst each other for days leading up to a carefully constructed conversation i get it childish but please don't end the chapter about me. simple as that is that a gray thomas it's oh mr william listen you're like a door to me lyric I love you and I respect you. Truly I do. But you need to think this decision over. Fully. Hmm. With respect back to you, Mr. William, I have. The Sleepy Dragon has remained open every day for nearly a hundred years. And it's going to stay open as long as I'm breathing. Uh. Be reasonable, girl. There's no future for Pyrocyte with that shadow looming over these mountains. No future for any of us here. Mayhaps someday we can come back to this village, rebuild. The spirit of the inn and of your folks will live on for so long as you do. You will be putting your life in danger if you stay. Not to mention the life of my only remaining son. He will surely stand by you. That is true. His other son died here. I'm sorry, I am. But it, it isn't just our lives at stake. The adventurers that pass through the mountains need my, need this inn. What? Need this my inn? Oh, that that uh, there's a typo there. They need me. Well, I hope you're right. Otherwise, you'll be sacrificing a whole hell of a lot for nothing. Oh, little Lyric, you know you've grown up just to be like your mother. So resolute and so very stubborn. Hmm. I'm going to take that as a compliment, Miss Molly. <laughs> I meant it as one. I loved your mother dearly, as I love you. It's why the thought of saying goodbye is such a tough one to swallow. Promise me you'll take care of yourself. Oh, wait, no! Can I not make the decision here? Are they all going to leave? I think I'm with them on this one. I'll be fine. I won't be because I will be completely on my own. Where's my food coming from? Where's my Oryx milk or Midnight milk? Where's that coming from? I'll do my best. That's all I can promise. I suppose it will have to do. She would have been so proud of you. Her little lyric. 
This is probably the end of the chapter. They're all going to be gone by chapter 5. And I'm going to have to find them, right? Please say yes. Um... Also, why is, why is Claire on a... She just moved in here. She doesn't know anything about the town. You kind of betrayed by her. Lyric, no matter what my parents say or anyone else, you have to believe in yourself. That's what you told me, right? That is true. But it is not the case when I'm the one. This is about me. That's right. Always. You always have to believe in your own heart. And mine is telling me to stay here on Pyroside. But mine isn't. I'm the player. Dang it. Oh. oh, that was the wrong answer. I... I think I understand. But I will miss you. It's so devastating to see that they already basically packed and it, it feels like they're gone tomorrow. I'll miss you too, Hazel. Look after your folks for me, would you? I will. I look after them like you've always looked after me ever since I was little, I promise. Oh, we're gonna have everyone say goodbye. Oh, You know, none of us meant to pile it on in in there. It's clearly a very, very touchy topic for everyone involved, yeah? I've only been in Pyroside for a short time compared to the rest of you, so I won't, I won't pretend to understand what this place means. But what I do understand, and better than most, it's what I, is, is what's out there. The shadow is growing stronger and its malice is spreading. Don't let it swallow you up, barkeep. Hey, you know we all care about you, don't you? Still waiting inside for the other one to leave? That's what everyone keeps saying. I'm not a kid anymore, Brianna. I can take care of myself and the whole village if I have to. Huh? That's what you think this is about? I know that. We all know that. You're one of the most capable women I've ever known. But none of us know knows what's coming. And the thought of something happening to you is almost too much to bear. Uh, this responsibility you're taking on is far heavier than any hammer. I know you can carry it, but it won't be easy. Yeah, what good is it to have an inn where all the stores in the village are also gone? Just come back later. I'm not gonna uh, try to change your mind, kid. I'll leave that to the others. I've never been great with words anyway. Hmm. Take care of the others, Isaac. Please. You really think you have to ask? I'll keep everyone safe. That's one thing you don't have to worry about. You'll be okay, kid. Keep that chin up. Lyric, perhaps it's not my place, but as your friend, I must ask you to reconsider staying. In all my travels, I've never seen anything like this blighted weather. Logic deems an even deeper cold is on its way. It's not your place, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Thomas. I appreciate your warning. But that's exactly why the Sleeping Dragon has to remain open. I understand. You're a brave woman, Lyric. Any adventurer still bold enough to journey this way will be lucky for it. Mm. I've known you a long time, girl. And I respect you far too much to think you could, I could change your mind on this. Or your heart. I'll begin collecting supplies and tools that might be of use. If you truly are staying in Pyrocyte, you need to prepare for the worst. Baron, I... Thank you. Oh dear. I 
think she might be the last one, except for Graham. Is it my turn? Do I get to go last in this sad parade? All your friends and family desperately trying to convince you to do the right thing. But I know you better than any of them. Kelsey. No. What you're possibly going to say. You'll just try to justify your stubbornness. You, but you can't. Not to me. You'll talk and talk and make me feel like the bad guy. You've always done that. Ever since we were kids. I was always a villain. The brat. Take the bait or stay calm. She's trying to lure me out of my tent, that much obvious. What will happen if I take the bait? I feel like there's gonna be another option to take the bait. Kelsey, I understand how you feel, but this inn... Keeping this place open for adventurers who need a safe place to rest. It's important. Am I not important? Our friendship isn't important because that's what is at stake here, you know. This isn't some holiday trip. We're packing everything up and moving away. Me, Byron and Brianna, Molly, all of us. If you stay here, it means none of us are worth it to you. It means my friendship isn't worth it to you. Take the bait. Dang it. If that's what you think, then maybe you're right. Maybe it isn't. Fine. Fine, Lyric. That was the wrong answer. Dang. You know, all those times you called me selfish and immature when we were little? I think now it's your turn to grow up. You should have stayed calm. I would have heard more of the story. That will be the end. Hey, Lyric. Are you alright? That was pretty rough. What are you going to do, Graham? Are you going to leave too? Uh. What? Leave Pyrocyte? Without you? Come on, Lyric. I haven't even considered it. My place is here. Hmm. It's just... Your whole family is going. I don't want you to feel like you have to stay here just because I'm being stubborn or selfish. You're my wife. There's nowhere else I'd rather be than by your side. Not because you're stubborn. Not because you're selfish. Because I love you. I'll say it again. My place is here. <laughs> now, I believe you promised Cloud a walk. Are you ready? Not really a time for that. Enough to describe true love. Brighter folks than me have tried. Poets and minstrels. What I felt for Graham... What I feel for him still, it's personal and, and deep and doltish at times. I don't agree with this. It steadies me in moments of doubt. A well of hope and strength beyond my own. Words. Hmm. Words aren't enough. <laughs> <laughs> we have to work on the whole fetching thing. It's only our first day together, after all. She has plenty of time to learn. Lyric, everything is going to be okay. As long as we're together, we can handle anything life throws at us. Hmm. You sure you want to stay? There's so much uncertainty ahead. Uh. I've been uncertain of a lot of things in my life. Going all the way back to the night of that first storm. If I'd only done more to protect Finn. Graham. Since then, it's been an endless series of questions. What to do if the shadow comes back? How do I protect the people I love? Everything is questions. Everything is uncertainty. Everything. Except this. Except you. <laughs> I'm with you, Lyric. Heart, soul, and whatever else. I've never been more, more sure than anything in my entire life. <laughs> now, come on. Cloud's gonna be need some... Cloud's gonna need some serious training. That's it. No, is it gonna be a leaving cutscene? <laughs> Looks like it. Uh 
Oh, they're actually Kelsey going. The were true to their word. By summer's end, they had gathered what belongings they could. And Where did they get the horse from? Transport. Horses, In actually. Of myself, I felt my heart sink as I watched them go. Friends, family, fading away into the world beyond the bridge. And who could fault them? Man. Graham and I met that first winter with purpose. Uh oh. With little else to distract us, we still raining. food, blankets, firewood, crates full of midnight milk. We laid fresh thatching and boarded up windows till our muscles ached. Wouldn't be enough, of course. Perhaps part of me knew it at the time. But I was hopeful. Awaiting a spring that would never come. Awaiting a spring that will never come. I don't agree with that at all. Okay. Let's go over this. I have a few things that I want to discuss, though. That I want to discuss. So, we adopted the female dog. Nothing really seems too interesting there to talk about choice wise you lost to Kelsey at peaks and valleys yeah well, it seemed rigged but there isn't a, of course it isn't it does seem rigged so the first thing I want to talk about is the gold I cannot imagine we're gonna I mean we're not, never gonna hear from it in chapter 5 or later on we now have a lot of gold. But I thought taking it would mean rebuild the mill, keep the people here. But that apparently is a folly. So I wonder if we let Brianna keep the gold. Will that help them by leaving? Or would she have upgraded the thing? I doubt it. She could have taken it with her. They did say, though, the Pyreside choice was with Lyric. So giving it to Brianna, she would just save it for a for an old day. Went fishing with Graham. I suppose something might have happened to him if he went out alone. If we forced the Oryx to go out of town, we probably would have gotten a more negative response. I think something would have happened. We, we never know. We told Hazel to follow her dreams. We, uh, we messed up some dialogue there. That's for sure. Um... I wonder if we told her to be realistic, would she have sided with me? I wonder. Uh, at the dinner. We served fresh mountain trout for dinner. I can't really see that being... ...too different. And we got angry at Kelsey. I feel like I definitely ruined that discussion. I think there was plenty of more to come out of that. So yeah, that was it. Um, I think this um, is them leaving town. I think that is unavoidable. There's seven chapters. The storm was in the first one. And it's been like 14 years. And things just getting more down and down. He, the, the game dev cannot make this go worse, right? Oh, he needs to move the story forward. I'm 
going to suppose that... I'm going to suppose that... Um, look at her outfit. I'm going to suppose that... In chapter 5, I'm going to start off in a village. And... Or something is going to happen that makes us go away. Is it going to be an attack or the shadow spreads even further? I really hope it's not seven years later. I really hope we just one year later or something realize this isn't it. Maybe Graham dies, something like that. There has to be a reason for us to leave town. I think Graham is, is dying. Then again, um, his dad told me he made me feel quite, kind of guilty about being selfish enough to keep his son at my side. Yeah, so I, I'm going to assume that next chapter is going to be the out of town chapter. And please go to the capital. I want to go there, please. Um, chapter 6, I think, will be where it all turns around or where the evil villain... No, she will probably be revealed in Chapter 5 at the end. Chapter 6 will be the fight against the bad guys. And Chapter 7 is probably finishing that up and... Everyone goes back to Pyroside and they will fix it up and they will all live happily ever after. Can't imagine everyone to die, but I definitely see a few people not making it to the end of the game. Uh, Baron is going to die, most likely. Graham is absolutely going to die. One of the twins will die really tragically. And I wonder... Oh, that's a spoiler, technically. No, never mind. I'm, I'm going to keep that one for myself. Um, I'm going to say it again. I've said it, I think, at, every, at the end of every chapter. I'm definitely going to do either a second series or most likely a live stream when we finally finish the story beside, whenever that is. And just picking all the other options and seeing what else is in there because I want to get everything about uh, out of this game. Yeah. So, to be continued, next chapter of a story beside will be released in Q1 2020. Um, now, if you were out of the loop, if you missed the update video I made, Chapter 4 released three months after Chapter 3. That was not supposed to happen. Um, a lot of game dev had a lot of stuff happening. Um, so it's a good thing, and a lot of postponing and whatever. So it's a good thing that Chapter 5 does not have a release date except for Q1. But I'm pretty sure he mentioned that it was almost done. He was going to release these two together. Uh, that was the idea in January, but it's now late February. So yeah, um, Q1. Hopefully that won't be another three months. I doubt it. I think it will be in March. And uh, yeah, we'll see each other then. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you did. Um, give me all your ideas on what you think could have changed if you have uh, different results please do not tell me please only do assumptions and uh, yeah don't spoil it because there will be of course a live stream whenever the entire thing is out um yeah don't forget to like and subscribe for more um yeah pretty much it i am devastated so i'm gonna cry no i'm not but i'm i'm still devastated i don't agree with this decision like, yeah, do you do you agree with Lyric staying here? I definitely can see where she's coming from, but I don't agree with it. I feel like I should have had more control in that. But then again, this game is not about controlling. There is a set series of events that's going to happen. You're going to decide how to get there. So, uh, yeah, that will be it. I'm going to quit rambling. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you hopefully in the next episode of A Story Beside. Bye-bye.